Hi everyone, I'm Sun Xiaoyun from Beihang University. I'm very glad to share my work about subgraph neural network. Next, I will first give a brief introduction about graph neural networks. Then I will introduce our model named Sugar and, and their experimental results. Finally, I will give a summary of our model and our future work. Graphs have been widely used to model the complex relationships between objects in many areas. By learning a graph in many, it's possible to capture the sequential, topological, geometric, and other relational characteristics of structured data. With the recent advances in deep learning, Graph neural networks have achieved significant success in mining graph data. Generally, graph neural networks follow a message passing scheme recursively to embed graphs, uh, to embed graphs into a continuous and low-dimensional space. Graphs have many substructures ranging from node, walk, cycle, motif to subgraphs. The local substructures in a graph always contain vital characteristics and prominent patterns. The, cap uh, the capacity of captured substructures limits the expressive power of graph neural networks. So, it's definite that graph neural networks need higher order structures to enable larger receptive fields. How to effectively exploit high-order structures for graph embedding, there are three main types of methods. The graph kernel-based methods directly exploit graph substructures decomposed from it using kernel functions. And the global pooling methods propagate node information across edges and obtain graph embeddings by globally summarizing node embeddings. In their motif-based methods design specific motif extracting rules to serve as local structures feature explicitly. However, the aforementioned methods have many limitations in terms of discrimination, prior knowledge, and interpretability. And their graph kernel-based methods rely on handcraft kernel functions, which are heuristic, inflexible, and suffer from poor generalization performance. And their global pooling methods generate overarching graph embeddings, which are inherently flat, indistinguishable, and lack of sufficient interpretability. The model-based methods need, need specific motif extracting rules, which require substantial prior knowledge, which is tedious and ad hoc. In our framework, we address these problems by representing graphs as adaptively select striking subgraphs. Um, the model includes four main steps. First, subgraph sampling and encoding. For each graph, a fixed number of subgraphs is sampled and encoded by an intra-subgraph attention mechanism. Second, subgraph selection. Striking subgraphs are selected by a reinforcement learning model and put into a sketched graph. Third, subgraph sketching. Every subnode in the sketched graph is fed into an inter-subgraph attention layer. Subgraph representations are further enhanced by maximizing mutual information between local subgraph and global uh, between local subgraph and global graph embeddings. Last, the graph classification result is voted by classifying subgraphs. To obtain more representative information without prior knowledge, we design a reinforcement polling mechanism to select more striking subgraphs adaptively by a, by a reinforcement learning algorithm. And we model the updating process of polling ratio K as a finite horizon Markov decision process. The state is represented by the indices of selected subgraphs. And the reinforcement learning agent updates k by add or minus a fixed value data k from k. After, update, after updating k, we use top k sampling to select a new set of subgraphs in the next epoch. 
Due to the black box nature of graph neural networks, it's hard to sense its state and cumulative reward. So we define, uh, so we define a discrete reward function directly based on the classification results. If the classification accuracy is higher than the previous epoch, the reward is positive. Since there is since there is a discrete optimization problem with the financial horizon, we use the Q learning algorithm to learn it. And since our model relies on extracting striking subgraphs as the representative part of the part of the original graph, we utilize a mutual information to measure the expressive ability of the obtained subgraph representations. To discriminate the subgraph embeddings among graphs, we present a novel a normal method that maximizes the mutual information between local subgraph embeddings and the global graph embeddings. All of the derived subgraph embeddings are constrained to be mindful of their global structural properties, rather than enforcing the overarching graph embeddings to contain all properties. We use the Jason Shannon mutual information estimator on the local and global pairs to maximize the estimate mutual information over the given subgraph and graph embeddings. Then we describe the experiments conducted to demonstrate the effects of our model for graph classification. Uh, we, uh, we use six widely used data sets and we consider a number of baselines including, including uh, graph kernel based methods, graph neural network based methods, and graph poly methods to demonstrate the effectiveness and uh, robustness, robustness of our model. We evaluate our model sugar for graph classification on the aforementioned six data sets. As shown in the table, our model consistently outperforms kernel-based methods, graph neural networks-based methods, and graph polling-based methods. And we analyze the impacts of subgraph encoder architecture and subgraph, uh, and subgraph size. And for the subgraph encoder, they evaluate, they evaluate GCN, JT, JIN, and GraphSearch. And we can see that our model is robust, is robust to the exact encoder architecture. Uh, for subgraph size, we vary the size of subgraph from 3 to 7. And we can see that our model can, uh, and we can see that a model can achieve competitive performance with the same when sample subgraphs can cover most of the basic fun, uh, cover the cover most of the basic functional building blocks. And for the reinforcement learning process analysis, our model achieves a 5.79% improvement with an adaptive pooling ratio. Uh, the reinforcement learning algorithm gradually converges for several rounds and meets a terminal condition with a stable learning curve. Uh, we, further uh, we further analyze the mutual information mechanism about its effectiveness, a negative sampling strategy, and negative sampling ratio. We can find that our model quite benefits from the self-supervised training. And negatively sampling from another graph instance consistently, consistently outperforms the sampling from a corrupted graph. A larger negative sampling ratio does not contribute significantly to boosting the performance of our, of our model. Um, we study the power of our model to discover subgraphs with prominent patterns. This figure illustrates the graph instance after subgraph selection, the neural outputs, and the striking subgraphs found by our model on the MUTEC and PTC dataset. Uh, make, uh, take the MUTEC as, a, as an example. We observe that the main uh, determinant in the mutagenic class is the natural group connected to a set of carbons. Um, for the non-mutagenic class, 
Our model takes a clone connected to carbons as a striking subgraph. And the result, visualization results show that sugar can discover subgraphs with prominent patterns and provide insightful interpretations into the formation of different graphs. Um, finally, let's review the highlights of the proposed model sugar. Uh, first, a model can learn discriminative subgraph embeddings among graphs, which are aware of both local and global properties. And second, a model can adaptively find the most striking subgraphs, even any graph without prior knowledge, which allows it to perform supremely across various types of graphs. Third, a model can explicitly indicate that subgra uh, indicate what subgraphs are dominating the learned results, which provides insightful interpretations into downstream applications. Um, future works include relating the subgraph sampling strategy to the learned implicit uh, type rules. Adopting more advanced reinforcement learning algorithms, if, uh, investigating the multilevel problem of subgraphs, and applying the proposed model sugar to other complex data sets and applications, such as graph classification. Um, thanks for listening. That's all. If you have any questions, please contact me.